Charlene Bosma had a bad feeling in her stomach the night her husband Tim took a test drive with two men hoping to sell his truck. Both her and her tenant were nervous as they drove away. We remarked to each other how weird the situation felt, testified Wayne DeBoer. I joked we might not see Tim again. Weird because the men came to see the truck at night in 2013 and barely looked at it before they sped off with Tim Bosma inside. Today, the lawyer for one of the accused, Dellen Millard, tried to make the other, Mark Smitch, look like the ringleader. He came forward, made eye contact, spoke clearly, and you felt you could trust him. The other guy hung back, didn't make eye contact, and concealed his face and body. Then Smitch's lawyer tried to point the finger at Millard. This tall guy, by not checking out the truck, wouldn't that indicate to you that he wasn't really interested in buying it? There may well be. There the head of the well Hamilton Criminal Lawyers the Association the says the defense lawyers are trying to create reasonable doubt. It creates an issue where the jury has to decide who they believe. But legal experts say that type of defense is rarely successful. Uh, those defenses almost invariably fail. Uh, when you know they, they, they're called cutthroat defenses, but oftentimes the expression is you end up cutting your own throat as well as the guy next to you. Trying to prove both men did it, the Crown began by calling a forensic expert who could prove Dellen Millard was driving Bosma's truck using fingerprints found inside the vehicle. The impression that was made on the rearview mirror was made by Millard's right thumb. Legal experts say the only way a cutthroat defense actually works is if the jury believes one accused over the other. For that to happen, they have to take the stand and testify. The defense for Mark Smitch and Dellen Millard hasn't said if either man will be doing that. Lisa. All right, Peter Ackman in Hamilton tonight. Thanks, Peter.